Welcome to Wilbur D. Rao Middle School, where the teachers are great and every single kid is cool, truly. Learn with the common goal. We are safe, respectful, and responsible. Home to math minds, some of the best readers, musicians, athletes, scholars, and web leaders. Lots happening in this wonderful place, and there's only one way to stay up to date. So if you got a case of the sandbox blues, hit the YouTube, check the Shamrock News. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Not a thing that we cannot do. Growth mindset, it's the Shamrock News. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? We're back! Welcome one, welcome all. Thanks for joining us on another exciting week of the Shamrock News. Let's start this week with a web leader reminder for all seventh graders. Woo! Hi, Rao. Specifically, hi to Rao seventh graders. <laughs> Are you looking for an opportunity to lead? Do you want to be a positive member of the Rao community? Do you want to make sixth grade an easy transition for our incoming Rao Shamrocks? Are you looking for all these opportunities and a free t-shirt? Well, you're in luck because you can sign up to be a part of next year's web leader group. Next year will be the sixth year of web leaders at Rao Middle School and over the past years, it has become a positive, well-renowned re program in the local community. It's a great opportunity to give back to the community. If you'd like to sign up, here's what you gotta do. Grab an application. They are now available outside of Miss Salisbury's classroom, room 333. You must turn them into Miss Salisbury by Friday, June 7th. You will need at least one staff recommendation and explain why you would like to be a web leader. So future row leaders, get your applications in and be part of the change in your community. Peace. Last week was an exciting week for Rao Middle School as Blazer's big man joined some of our classrooms for first and second period. We'd like to give a huge thanks to Ennis Cantor and his team for coming through and warming our school with a positive energy and message. <laughs> How does it feel to grow in a different country and how did uh, how did the transformation to go from Turkey to the USA? Um, well, I'll be honest first, uh, I came here in 2009 and first, my, my first two months was very hard because everything was different. Think about, I grew up in Turkey uh, 17 years, right? And uh, I came here when I was 17 years old. Language is different. I had no idea what people were talking about. And uh, food was different. Culture was different. Religion was different. People were different. So I think first two months I had a very, very rough time to get, to get used to everything. And then I was like, you know what? This is going to be my home from now. I need to get used to this. Then we're going to do our standard <laughs> Abbey clap too. Basically, start to prepping. Yes. How do you know when it's time to stand up for what you believe in? Uh, well, I mean, I don't know how much you guys are following with me and what's going on in my country. With Turkey, yeah, third situation. I think it's very important to stand up for human rights, democracy, and freedom, especially freedom of speech. And, um, you know, now with the, I think, you know, that there are lots of anti bullying programs in high schools, so high schools especially. I think the one, one thing that I always did with my, um, you know, the teammates, uh, try to understand people. Uh, what made me as well basketball? Well, I mean, uh, I was the tallest one in my, in my classroom, and uh, obviously, and uh, you know, basketball was my favorite sport, and uh, that was the reason. <laughs> Shamrock News team and, and summer, summer vacation. 
so just be sure to keep up your grades and attendance. seen the past couple of weeks, the Shamrock News students have been hard at work creating our annual school song. The song has been recorded, so filming the music video has started. Let's take a look at some of the behind the scenes footage. choose to be in the level up song. Mr. Dix asked me and I said yeah. Uh, were you nervous singing in the level up song? <laughs> At first I was a little bit nervous but after a while it became more natural. Not so nervous. And then how it overlaid on the yeah, screen. Rap. I never stay the same. Level up song music video. Um, why did you choose to be a part of a music video? I was freestyling in Mr. Dick's class and then he asked me if I wanted to be a part of an actual song. congratulate next year's freshman class student government team. Last week, 8th graders elected four individuals to serve as their spokespeople for next year. Give it up for Silas Johnson, Woo! Cecilia Quintero, Woo! Hannah Pomeroy, Woo! and Sarah Martinez. I'm pretty excited for summer, yeah. It's gonna be fun not to have any over your summer? Um, I'm not sure. A lot of biking, probably. Oh. I don't know what I'm having for dinner. I love chicken. The fried beans on the watermelon. Okay, okay, can we stop talking about food? All the time, dude. Uh, Make sure okay. that's warm, not cold. <laughs> wait, wait, you decided for summer? Yes. And you decided for summer? Absolutely. And you over your summer? I'm gonna go to Washington D.C. and then um, hang out with my friends. That's not. Yeah. Friends. Anyone do for your summer? I'm probably gonna play basketball. I'm probably gonna hang out with friends and stuff. And, yeah, it's just normal typical stuff. I'm not going anywhere. What do you do for your favorite favorite superhero? Uh, I'm. What favorite superhero? I like. Why would he die in phase 
RBA season has come to an end. Let's check out some highlights from the championship game. Yay, boy! Last Wednesday, the RBA season concluded with our championship game. The contest featured our 7th grade team, Triple B's, taking on our 6th grade squad, the Migos. Triple B's jumped out with an early lead thanks to Bug Canty and Lorenzo Gear. However, the Migos kept it close as James was raining three pointers. In the end, the Triple B's proved too tough a match for the Migos, as the seventh graders won their first RBA championship 52 to 28. for coming out and playing this year. We look forward to seeing you next spring for season four. Attention seventh graders, the Oregon Renaissance Fair is on Saturday, June 8th. Entertainment, dances of yesteryear. Enjoy juggling and theater shows. Try your luck at archery. Shop till you drop, an elephant ear may have good fellow. Make sure to bring some money. If you wish to shop, snacks will be provided. Wild yard, medieval clothing, jewelry, and chain mail. Buy it all. See Mr. Parrington in room 218 for permission slips. Spots are limited. Attention all 8th graders interested in playing football at the high school level next year. Spring football practices are coming up soon and we want to see you there. What's up guys, I'm Nick Cooper and I'm your starting varsity quarterback. I'm Joey and I'm the running back and linebacker. I'm Juan Hernandez and I'm a running back. I'm Ulysses Aguilar Soto and I play old line and defensive tackle. My name's Isaac Vallejos, I play middle linebacker. What football has really done to me is really built me as a person, as someone who kind of messed around the freshman and sophomore year and didn't play football. To my junior year realizing I have to take this serious and knowing I got to big group of guys that are relying on me to get my job done both in the classroom on the field and off the field. Football for me has made me more confident and better at working with the team. What football means to me is family that never gives up on you. Football is family. Football to me is a close-knitted family and it brings a lot of joy to my Soul. We're here to talk to you about Milwaukee football spring practices. Either for all incoming freshmen that want to play next year. These practices will take place at the Lake Road practice field. These will take place from June 3rd to June 20th 
from 4.30 to 6. In this camp, we'll be focusing on football fundamentals and having fun. We are making our emphasis this year to be the safest program in the state. Safety is our number one priority. The cost is free and you get a Milwaukee football t-shirt. This is our chance to get together as a football family and start introducing plays. This is our first step into reaching our goal of winning of the league championship. This camp's going to be fun, but it's also going to be a lot of hard work. So be prepared for that. Part of being safe is being well conditioned. Therefore, we need to get bigger, stronger, and faster. We need to see all incoming freshmen in the weight room to make sure everyone's safe. This summer, the weight room will be open at 5 in the afternoon, and I better see you. If you have any questions, please contact Coach Schaefer at the number below. See you at spring practice. The Oregon Writing Project is hosting a writer's workshop for students this summer. If you're interested in continuing your writing growth, sign up now. Do it! Just do it! Don't let your writing dreams be not do it! Oh. Welcome back to Breakfast with the Boys. I'm Cupcake the third. I'm McGriddle the second. I'm Waffle Maker 68. I'm the String Bean the eighth. Today we're making waffles. In order to make the waffles, we'll need these ingredients. Two cups of flour, three fourths cups of, cup of granola, one teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of baking powder, three tablespoons of sugar, six tablespoons of butter, two eggs, one and a half cups milk. First up, plug in the waffle iron and turn it on. I don't want granola in my mouth. Oh, shut up. What is she gonna do though? You taste the granola? <laughs> Alright, guys. <laughs> Dude, you're the chicken powder. We only need one. Put, Put it in one. the other one. Oh. Jeez. Are you ready? We need three tablespoons of this. You put it in that one. Wait. Spin it up. Whip it up. Speed it up. She's, okay, this is sick. Okay, I'm gonna put this butter in this fossil <laughs> and I'm gonna melt it. It's boiling. Okay, here, I got you. Oh, what did you just put? I got you. <laughs> You're so <laughs> like that. Are you whisking? Hey, ah. Should we get another bowl? Dude, the eggshells yeah. are the best part to eat. Yeah. This is a lot. How much is it? One and a half. I know how to run, oh, oh. lap around the track. You know how to get hit in the head with the basketball. <laughs> Don't knock. <laughs> oh, that's the Alright. Here we go. Got one cup. Alright, in the middle. I just clamped it down and then it would just spread it out. It does. Uh, yeah, you okay. need to make a waffle. Ooh, that's looking nice. It's upside down. Ooh, the money shot. Sean, mine's better than yours. You're just mad. Same thing. Plate, ladle, same thing. Hey, you want? Then I'll take it off. I think that'll be good. Alright, let's check out the pieces. Why do you have fingertips, but not toe tips, but you tip toe? <laughs> oh, that's looking nice. So, I don't think this one should have been cooked a little longer. Today we're going to talk about our summer plans and goals. It's got as far as like goals for the summer. Do you guys do that type of stuff? Grow taller. Jump Grow taller. You're gonna jump off a cliff? No. Do you do that kind of stuff though? Do you like go to like? Oh yeah. So you're to jump off a cliff this summer. 
We yeah. went there like every day for a while. Did you guys play sports throughout the summer? Yeah. 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 I have well, a baseball, but. You got, you got baseball goals? What's your plan for baseball this summer? Um, Go to county. Go to county? Possibly state. Nice. My team's pretty good this year, so. You play from Milwaukee? Mm hmm. Peyton, Solomon, oh, okay. I have you? a I have a tournament in Las Vegas in July. Oh, no. Nationals. You gonna play against Bronny? Oh, hopefully. I wasn't on the this team last year, but they went to Las Vegas. They said like there was like Quavo there and everyone. And oh wow. They wouldn't let you in unless you've played. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. What about you? You got basketball. Yeah. You got track goals. When's I got track. When's nationals? It's end of July, and it's in Sacramento. Are you doing nationals this year? Yeah, my goal is to win the 3,000. 3,000, so 3K, so that's what, like 1.86? 1 1.86 1 miles. I feel like I How fast you run it? Uh, last year I ran 9.23, this year I ran 9.36. How fast do you think you gotta be to, to win, win it? it? Well, I have state and I always PR there, so I, if I get like a 12 second PR there, I'll probably, my time will probably be able to win nationals. Okay, my goal this summer, me and Mr. Hayes are about to run a half marathon up on Mount Hood. My goal is to finish it, no time. I don't care if it takes me six hours, I'm gonna finish it. And then every year- Wait, half a marathon? Half a marathon, 13.1 miles. No walking. Huh? No walking. No walking? Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, so your goal, win nationals in the 3,000. Mm -hmm. You want to go to county and baseball. Baseball. You're trying to go to Las Vegas, play in a big tournament, not break any bones. Get stronger and stuff. Get stronger. Yeah. Grow taller. Yeah, Get like five I, more inches. That'd be nice. Get taller. You just got to hang upside down by your feet. Actually, that works. No. <laughs> I wish that worked. Take, our, do, take us out with your theme music. Rex with the boys. Rex with the boys. I'm about to eat breakfast with the boys. Our quartet, <laughs> our quartet of young gentlemen are back making some waffles and talking about summer plans on this week's Breakfast with the Boys. Thanks for joining us, Rouse Scholars. <laughs> you like breathed out so heavily. Thanks for joining. <laughs> okay, do you want to do it again or shall I just go? Thank you for joining us, Rouse Scholars. See you next time on the Shamrock News. Peace. Like or you could just grab headphones. <laughs> okay. Are we ready? Whenever you're ready. Okay. We'll wait for <laughs> okay. And it's my turn. Turn. I need to start. What are we doing? Yeah, we could go like this. We what are we doing? Wait, no, no, I could like jump over your Peace. Wait, wait, wait. Right now, sleep. Oh, oh, thank you. 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 Thank Oh, it's recording! Okay, come here, and Inter interview me. <laughs> Wait, where's my height? Oh, I put it in there. Thanks to everyone for coming out and playing this year. We look forward to seeing you next year, uh, next spring for <laughs> season four. Is we need to be physically stronger. Therefore... <laughs> <laughs> You got it. I'm gonna grab some. Alright, what's your next step? Um, three fours cup of granola. Where's that granola? Wait, why do we need granola and waffles? Wait, what does granola do in waffles? 